Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment channel. Now, anybody who watches my videos regularly knows that I'm really into season extension. And that's mainly just because it's great fun, but also because we're self-sufficient and it's just really nice to have the uh, widest range of food all year round. And of course, you know, we're you know, fully stocked up now for winter. Almost every bed has been replanted uh, and we've got masses of food um, that we're going to be enjoying for the next sort of seven months or so, which is an incredible amount of time. But this video anyway is just about a few experiments that I'm running. Um, you know, just trying to find things that really work uh, in terms of, you know, extending the season uh, into winter. And uh, so I've got a few things to show you. Some of them are working well, some of them not quite so well, but you know, they're all interesting. Um, and I'd absolutely love to hear from you if you've got any examples of things that, uh, you know, really extend well into, into winter. Um, and I'll be doing a few videos like this, uh, so I'll be looking at things uh, that do really well really early, so sort of January, February time, there's a few examples of those, uh, and then I'll do some uh, more videos about things that, you know, you can do really early in the season, so uh, things that you can sort of maybe start in February, May, so fe February and March, uh, and so you're eating them during the hungry gap. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these uh, little experiments, and I'll see you soon. So this is the experiment I am most excited about. And maybe you can see this lovely little cucumber here. I've got three cucumber plants in that pot, and they're just on this little shelf in the conservatory. And I can see I've got another lovely little cucumber there and another one here and I think in total I've got something like 34 cucumbers coming and I just don't like shop-bought cucumbers so I'm just really excited to try these and see how I can keep them going. Now I have lost a couple there's one there, for example, uh, and I'm not exactly sure why, but I've got quite a few that are growing quite strongly. So this actually might be a viable kind of season extension technique, and it looks really nice, doesn't it? I think it does anyway. It's you know really quite quite decorative everybody comments on it so uh, yeah so I'm pretty pleased with that experiment so the next one I'm trying is peppers and these peppers I think I'll put up the actual date but I think they were planted um, sort of June July time and I did the same last year and basically I got really lovely peppers in sort of January and February and they actually ripened up, no problem at all. They were really nice and red. Um, and the plants just look really nice. They're probably going to move to the kitchen uh, windowsill because they just look really good, especially when they start to ripen up. So I'm pretty pleased with these and there's loads more flowers on them. And if I can keep the green fly off them, which is definitely an issue because uh, I think that's green fly um, then yeah then I might overwinter them and actually get an early crop next year if not then I'll just get this crop in sort of January February time um, but yeah green fly is the biggest issue I think with uh, with growing over winter because um, you know the last thing we want is all of our spring plants infested with green fly because they've overwintered on these plants so anyway I'm gonna give that a go and see how they go and basically they just snuggle in that little corner there at the moment out of the way and again they look quite nice got my little water bottle here so it's at the same temperature as the cucumbers and the peppers 
when I uh, water them. And then I've got these tomato plants and these are red robin so these are really small uh, plants and again I tried these last year and I did get this mold on the leaves but I'm going to spray them with hydrogen peroxide this time to see how they go. Um, they're actually pretty prolific and the intention for these is maybe to get some tomatoes during the Christmas period um, and then take cuttings off these plants and get sort of tomatoes in March, April, May time. Again, challenge is green fly. So uh, yeah, I'll see how I can, whether I can manage that a little bit better than I did last year. Um, and I have got them outside at the moment. I've got them under my grow lights. Um, and I've popped them out here just because um, it's just a little bit too warm for the light levels that we're, we've got right now. So they're just growing a little bit leggy. Um, but it's not cold enough that, uh, it, that they need supplemental heating right now. So under these grow lights, they are fine. And you can see I've got some, a few uh, lettuces and things that again, are just showing that legginess because it's just the wrong balance of light and heat right now. So lots of stuff in here. Um, because those weren't leggy, I've actually just re some trays of those lettuces there. So um, yeah, but really the experiment is the tomatoes. So excited to see how those do. Get those lights back on. These lights have a little bit of uh, heat as well. Just keep them a bit warmer. Cover them up. So I hope you enjoyed that little video and uh, yeah just yeah please let me know if you've got any great examples of things that uh, work well into the season uh, yeah into winter. Uh, and one example I'm not sure whether I mentioned it in that video is uh, I'm definitely looking to do a better job of tomatoes. So the tomatoes I showed in the video are ones for the sort of Christmas and January period. Um, but you know one of the things I want to do is plant something like Tumbling Tom in probably about June, July time uh, in containers and put bring those containers into the polytunnel um, so that I'm harvesting those in September and October and November because we take all of our polytunnel tomatoes which were behind me here uh, out basically on the 1st of October so it'd be really nice to have um, you know some tumbling tom, some just cherry tomatoes basically for salad mixes in uh, in October and November and then the ones that I've showed you um, will start kicking in in December January so um, yeah so that's uh, that's a few experiments I'm always doing experiments and I'll see you soon